Hey guys, ZS Gaming Videos here, and I am bringing you a commentary over some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on the Xbox 360 this time. I have a little story behind this. I actually sold my PS3 to get an Xbox 360. That's why I haven't been really producing videos lately, but hopefully I can produce a lot more Black Ops 2 content for the Xbox 360 as well as I will be producing Modern Warfare 3 for Delta 1 content for you guys so hopefully you enjoy in this commentary what I want to talk about is my Xbox 3 my Black Ops 2 Xbox 360 and versus PS3 basically or comparison whatever you want to say this is my opinion you guys can tell me what you think in the comments below so let me get into this first off we're going to talk about the community so in my opinion the xbox 360 community has a larger community there's a lot more people a part of it and it stands out a little more in terms of age variance what this means is that there's a lot more kids that play xbox 360 but there's also a lot of adults kind of as well so wide age variance, which is a really good thing to have when you're playing a game. And so that's what the Xbox 360 allows to happen. And whereas the PS3 is mainly just the older community, so not as many like kids and things, but it is what it is. Another thing that I find is that that is a part of the Xbox 360 community is that there's a lot more like people that will rage or they'll get mad or whatever and at the most dumbest things in my opinion but you know it's the try hard community which is a great community to be a part of so you can get better so yeah next off I'm gonna talk about the gameplay is it harder or is it easier in my opinion it really just varies depending what lobby you get into from what I've seen it's more the Xbox 360 is harder than the PS3, but that's just my opinion. And also, um, what I find is that I'm not really trying that hard on Xbox 360 because I'm playing more with my friends and stuff, so I'm not as much of tryharding and everything, but I'm going to start doing that to get gameplays for you guys. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I think about the gameplay in terms of hardness or easiness. In my opinion, the Xbox 360 is a little harder, but this was pretty good gameplay in my opinion, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So next off, what I'm going to talk about is basically like what is, in terms of like controls and smoothness of the gameplay and everything. From what I've seen, from what I've encountered and everything, I've really felt like the Xbox 360 controls are a lot smoother than the PS3 controls. It just flows a little better, and the controls don't seem as clunky as the PS3, in my opinion. Now, you guys might have another opinion besides mine, but the thing is that I've been playing PlayStation ever since the PlayStation 1, so I'm still... They haven't changed the controller or anything, so I've been playing with that and everything, and I've liked that controller. But now that I have the Xbox 360, I see that the um, controls are a lot smoother, in my opinion. So that's just something to notice for you guys if you're debating getting an Xbox 360 or a PS3. Now there is one flaw to Xbox 360 in terms of online play, and that flaw is that you have to pay to play online. But this comes with a lot more features that it gives you. You can do Xbox Live Party Chat, so if you just want to talk to your friends and, you don't and you're not necessarily playing the same game as them, well go ahead, get in a party chat, and talk to them. It really works out well and it's kind of just a fun thing to do that. I do that with my friends a lot of time and it just kind of makes you more engaged in talking to other people and stuff. And all in all, I just feel like the Xbox 360 online experience is just well worth 
the money that you have to pay to be able to play online. Now, another thing is that on PS3, I'm pretty sure you could never change your gamer tag or your PSN name or whatever you want to call it. But on Xbox 360, you can cha you can change it once for free, and then you can change it however many times you want for 800 Microsoft points. And you see, at the end of the first half of this game, I was 22 and nine. The second half isn't quite as entertaining, and it's pretty boring second half in my opinion, but s keep watching this. It's still a pretty good ending result in my opinion, but I start off the second half pretty bad right there. But anyways, next, so like I was saying, it's well worth the money that you have to pay. It's really not that expensive. I mean, if you if you work for your parents or if your parents will buy it for you, because I know there's some spoiled people out there, but if you have a job or if you work for your parents or if you do chores and you get an allowance, then you definitely should be able to afford to get the Xbox 360 online features and everything, and it's well worth the paid pay to play, basically. So, yeah. Next thing is more on Black Ops 2. And I forgot to tell you this about the community, but on the Xbox 360, I feel like the community is a lot smarter when they play. In Black Ops 2, you can't rush a lot. You have to play more defensive and everything, unlike most Call of Duty games. And so the Xbox 360 community, they know that, so what they'll do is they'll play a little more defensive, which makes it a little harder. And I feel like they're just smarter in how to play this, but... That's just my opinion. So that's pretty much what I have to say about that topic. So let's go into the next thing that I'm going to say, which is just going to be about the guns that I feel like I felt were better in the PS3 than the Xbox 360. And most of this is because of controls and everything, not really based on the gun and how well it does. It determines how well I do with the gun based on basically the controls. So let's get into this. So what I feel like is that on the, X on the PS3, I really enjoyed the Type 25. That was my favorite. I think it was the Type 25. I'm pretty sure. But it was my favorite assault rifle probably my favorite gun on the ps3 i prestiged that gun and i pretty much was trying to get gold camo on it and eventually get diamond camo on the assault rifles but that never happened because then i sold my ps3 after i got hacked and everything but if you haven't seen that video go check it out a uh, link to some of my videos that i want you to see will be in the description but anyways like I was going to say is that I really like the Type 25 in on the PS3, but not really on the Xbox 360. I just feel like it's a lot harder to use because of the controls, and it's just it just feels weird to use it on an Xbox 360 controller. Also, another thing is that I hated the PDW on the PS3. Everybody did good, at, good using the PDW except for me. And I felt like that was like a really bad thing that I couldn't get the PDW down. So I was like, hey, let's try it out on Xbox. And I got this gameplay, which is a pretty decent gameplay. And the next thing that I want to talk about, well, not the next thing I want to talk about, but another gun that I feel like I feel is better on the PS3 is the MSMC. I love that gun on the ps3 and it's good on both actually i really enjoy it on both but i felt like i was better at using it on the ps3 i don't know if that's just because i was more used to it and stuff and i haven't really been using it on the xbox 360 as much but i just feel like i could use it better on the ps3 but it was about equal it's almost equal just a little bit easier on the ps3 in my opinion and a gun that i feel is good on the Xbox 360 is probably the Vector. I hated that gun on the PS3. I couldn't do anything with it. I absolutely sucked with that gun. 
But then I was like, hey, let's try it out on the Xbox 360. And it's one of my favorite submachine guns besides the PDW on the Xbox 360, which is a really positive thing. And finally, the one thing, the last gun that I want to talk about is that the M27 on the PS3 I felt like was a lot better because I could use it more effectively than on the Xbox 360. That's just my opinion. But anyways, if you guys have any of those guns that I said or if you have any feedback on which one you think is better based on if you played it or not, please no hate comments. This was my opinion. Uh, all in all, let's wrap this up. I personally think that the Xbox 360 is more of a fit for me, but that's just what I think. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Please leave a like and subscribe. Bye.